Well, another day, another psalm. I, these, I just love these psalms, and each of them has its own use. And I really needed this one today. Um, you know, the thing I've found in life is that a problem doesn't have to be a huge problem to actually create stress and challenge for any soul. So let's take a look at this. Um, I cry aloud to God, aloud to God, and he will heal me. In the day of my trouble, I seek the Lord. See, this is the thing. If a problem causes a day of trouble, wow, then we need the Lord. We need the Lord to heal us, to help us. In the night, my hand is stretched out without wearying. My soul refuses to be comforted. When I remember God, I moan. When I meditate, my spirit faints. So how do I find him when, you know, I'm thinking about him, but yet somehow comfort is not coming to me. Distress is there. How do I handle this? Listen to this. You hold my eyelids open. I'm so troubled I cannot speak. Wow, that bad. I consider the days of old. See, now we start moving in the right direction. The years long ago, I said, let me remember my song in the night. Let me meditate in my heart. And then I think here's the real turning point. Then my spirit made a diligent search. See, somehow my spirit, your spirit, needs to make a diligent search of the scriptures and of the character of the triune God and of Jesus the only redeemer of God's elect. We need to make a diligent search of God and his word, and then things really turn around. And, and so he asked himself six questions, one right after the other, all with the same answer. Will the Lord spurn forever? No. And never again be favorable? No. Has his steadfast love forever ceased? No. Are his promises at an end for all time? No. Has God forgotten to be gracious? Of course not. Has he in anger shut up his compassion? No. See, God, God is still God. His electing purposes, his love for his children. See, that, that will never fail. And then I said, I will appeal to this to the years of the right hand of the Most High. And when I think of the right hand of the Most High, I think of Jesus. He is the very right hand of the triune God. And so, yes, I'm going to appeal to the years of the right hand of the Most High, that he, is, he in his divine nature, is from eternity past. There is no end to Jesus. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. I will ponder all your work and meditate on your mighty deeds. This has got to help, you know? Big problem or small, it's got to help. Your way, O oh God, is holy. What God is great like our God? You are the God who works wonders. Do you see the change that's taking place in this psalmist? You have made known your might among the peoples. You with your arm, again, I think Jesus, redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. So I, I think of this, the arm of God, Christ, and by his spirit, which is the finger of God, touching me, changing me, helping me, healing me, healing you, bringing you out of despair, bringing you into faith, hope, love. When the waters saw you, O God, when the waters saw you, they were afraid. Look, even the waters were afraid. We're talking about the Red Sea here. Indeed, the deep trembled, the clouds poured out water, the skies gave forth thunder, your arrows flashed on every side, the crash of your thunder was in the whirlwind, your lightnings lighted up the world. See, the elements are God's elements. The earth trembled and shook, your way was through the sea, through the sea, through the Red Sea, your path through the great waters, yet your footprints were unseen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses 
and Aaron. Absolutely. That's what happened. The Exodus. Now I remember God. I remember the scriptures. I remember the Exodus. You redeemed your people by the blood of the Lamb. How much more for us who live after the cross and the resurrection, right? Okay, now I'm better, right? Are you better? I'm better. Father, thank you. I see the way now. We see the way. Even if the problem is small, sometimes we seem incapacitated. But then we remember you and remember what you've done and hope returns. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings, friends.